All right, welcome back. Billy looked up the fucking death monster. You can do the same goddamn things. Here we go. It looks exactly like we expect. Waste no time on us, sir. But take away, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing, I've we, already, we do, it, we, I just relayed the game plan to Billy here. We're going to waste a little time. We're going to waste a little bit of time. So at the end game here, we're tasked. You'll see in, in a moment here what's going on. We have to, uh, I'm just giving you the preamble. The uh, We will have to collect 20 wake stones. Uh, turns out in my storage, I had like 50 of them. So what I'm going to do is instead of having to collect 20, I'll collect five. So we'll have to go through and collect at least five of them. I figure that at least gives you a taste of the end game content without having to drastically dive into it. Oh, this game, yeah, that's when it introduced the hotkeys too, which is nice. I like the hotkey. I need more of that in the sequel, hotkeys. We're nearing the end though. The end of this arduous journey is almost over. And let me tell you, this ending leg gets kind of weird. <laughs> so it's like a well, cause like, like the one girl at my work, where the end of her leg's a little weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could keep going if you want, but I might change. No, <laughs> Hello. See it? Oh, okay, fine. I need to go I work for his grace. <laughs> hardly. <laughs> Are you hardly. We go into so as you recall in the previous cutscene, yeah, he got old. He got old. So we go in here. And he's just like, I'm so fucking dead old. You met with a dragon. But yeah, yeah, they yeah. even fucking murdered that guy, too. I murdered him. I fucked him up! Why were you really quiet and now really loud? <laughs> because he was whispering and then you got closer. I am all men. How did you sneak up on him? <laughs> Because he's got old man, old, he's got old man skills. So then the dragon forged guy, he I didn't see it in the cutscene, but he just melted straight away. Yes, yeah. he's been he's been around for a long, a long, time. yeah, very long time. So when he got his heart back, he was just like, <laughs> yeah, he just like just dissolved. Yeah, no human's hand could be a dead beast. No, but I did. This is actually like the second or third time I've done it, probably. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Nope. I killed him. If you were weary of that from the get-go, why did you assist, or like, assist me and aid me in like, having to do, do quests for you and shit? Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Better be quick to move out of the way here. Oh, oh you hit me anyway. Just beat them with pots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to do. Hold on. Hold on I can pick up. Well, I'll take your weed from you. Because I'll just one shot him otherwise. I like to fucking. Ah, now you're all wet. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one of these is your piss pots. Is that it? Yeah. Can you unequip your oh, sword? Oh, okay. Maybe I'll get through the flask of oil at him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Or small oh. nuts. Oh, flask of water I can throw at him. I mean, yeah, I can punch him. Yeah, that's or pebbles or something. Like, there's got to be something funny in your inventory that you can throw at him. I don't even know this will do damage. You know? Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Cry! <laughs> Why did it explode yeah. on him? The fuck? Uh, I don't really have anything funny in my inventory to throw at him. I can only throw so many things. I can throw oil at him. Yeah, sure. But I want to want to hold on to that because I need it here. Whoopsie. Goodbye. I have been vanquished. And it's a typical sort of cutscene where he goes flying through the air, even though I just fucking stab him right in the gut. Because he's so old that he's actually just paper. I'm looking forward to um, oh. in Dragon's Dogma 2 as well. This it's on their I think it's on the RE engine more than likely, um, and like there's there won't be any of these those fucking low times between cutscene and gameplay. 
I like that he puts the crown on too. Like he pushes it down on his head so it's like snug. Yeah. <laughs> Why is nobody like? Why is our? Why is the Duke like so old all of a sudden? Like yeah. what happened? Well, I mean, they did say devilry, so you know. Oh, he said, yeah, he said, did you stricken me with the curse? Yeah, basically. I mean, do you see the dragon anywhere? <laughs> I mean, I don't really have any explanation as to why the half of the city just collapsed like upon defeating the dragon, but... Guys, um, if I was able to stand up against the dragon, do you really think five of you guys are going to fight me? Yeah, right. And win? Well, they don't know that I defeated the dragon. Sorry, nine of these guys? They don't think that I just fucked my way out of it. You're just like, hey, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dragon was just like <laughs> it's pulled out my gmail pants <laughs> and he's just like well I mean, this is there. a deal I accept your counter offer to my bargain <laughs> and then he just gives him your heart <laughs> yeah. and then comes and check this out check pitch. this out boy check this out Yeah, then he just comes in with a little claw and pinches your cheek. He's like, yep. <laughs> Even so here we go. We're in the Everfall, my friend. So this is the... This is the end game. So there's all these like ledges that we're falling past. Like This is what we're supposed to... Uh, we're supposed to grab onto them and go to different like worlds, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I'm falling... So once you fall all the way to the bottom, you respawn back at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and... I have to land on this very top one to get the quest that we need to do. Ah, okay. So. It's a good thing they allow you to restart there because, like... Oh, yeah, it's called... Who's going to get it the first time? Yeah. If you would heed my call, prove now your worth. All right. Show that you the strength to break the yoke that binds you. All right. I love eggs. Oh, hey, it's Kina. Yeah. That's not her name. What's her fucking name? I have feathers in my back. Oh, she's startled. Did you see that? Oh, Quince. Quincy. So, you probably don't remember this. No. Um, she's actually from the beginning of the game. Because oh, okay. we play as a different character to go fight the dragon at first. And she's part of our party at that particular time. Oh. Yes. Oh, there he is. Okay, so she gave me a, a wake stone. Perfect. Actually, I don't even like. I was gonna say to myself, like, I, I can get an extra one. I, I honestly don't need an extra one. <laughs> so there's a, another final boss, like a, a further final boss after this. Mm -hmm. But it is like a joke. <laughs> there's and just like see, oh, this guy's gonna be you so. You'll see tough. what I mean. So yeah, this is um. This is like the end game part where you, yeah, there's a bunch of different levels. There's actually a special boss character in one of these. It's called the Ur Dragon, And it's kind of it's kind of like a Helldiver situation where you go and fight it and then do damage to it. And then everybody who plays the game online collectively does damage to the Ur Dragon. But what you can do to defeat it if you actually want to beat it is you can just play the game offline and you can do the same thing. So you might not defeat him the first time you fight him, but then if you just go back to his chamber... And you it, like the the damage accumulates, kind of like the death monster, sort of. Okay, I but, assume that uh, you, with how strong your character is, uh, you'd probably be able to kill it pretty quickly. Uh, you still need to be pretty high level to kill it, like to deal damage to him effectively. But yeah, it's yeah, it takes some time. It but. takes a while, yeah. Chamber of Confusion. So this is just like what Wait, it is. Oh. It's just a bunch of dungeons and like um, random like monsters such as this. So this is an evil eye. It's actually called the Beholder, but you know. Well, in this game, it's an evil eye. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's 
eight or ten tentacles? I think it's ten tentacles. Which I guess technically isn't a beholder. I think beholder's only nine. Yeah, we're doing some decent damage to him already. So the tentacles can teleport, or like they open up kind of like a portal, like a portal gun, sort of, where it goes in one and comes out the other. Okay. Like this, see? And there's the Abyssal Eye, which is like <coughs> the Bitter Black Isle. The Bitter Black Isle section of the game is where shit gets real. That's where the real fun is, I think. Um, but that's like a campaign into itself. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if we ever wanted to go through that, we could. <laughs> but that's much more... It's much more difficult. Because all the level, all the monsters are, like, high level. It's, like, all post-game monsters, as well as, like, a bunch of new ones. That aren't in the regular game. Oh, he's dead right here. He's dead. He's done. Whip that eyeball. Beat that fucking eyeball. So he's dead. So, yeah, the point of this part, part of the game, anyway, is to defeat enemies and as you can see they drop wake stones yeah so this is how you're supposed to farm it up like I, like I say you're it's it, it's entirely a farming yeah. type of deal so I don't it's, I, <laughs> it's basically you're doing the uh, the mega man go through a bunch of bosses and then right some of the dungeons are a little bit more elaborate so this one's just a, a chamber but I mean, the, I mean, the dungeons oh. are what I would consider elaborate. It's usually the same room in, like, different configurations. But, um, yeah, we're going to just go on to another one here. Zip. See you guys. Rochelle. And then, yeah, the whole ending sequence of the game is basically, like, a straight-ahead shot. And it's really kind of weird. It gets kind of heady with what's going on in it. And you'll see what I mean once we get there. Yeah. This one, Chamber of Absence. Usually the same enemies appear in all these places too, but it kind of depends. That's one thing I hope they change in the sequel. Is like the enemies always spawn in the same places every time in this game. And they need to change that. Yeah. Some weather would be nice. The game never has any dynamic weather either, which is kind of lame. It's just like. But. Yeah, it's always nice out. But. The game obviously had its budget cut, so they couldn't fucking do all that shit. That would be low on the priority list, I'm sure. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, 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 I got some piece shards, piece wake stone shards. If I get three shards, I get a wake stone. You go, Mary. No. He's not even dead. <laughs> <laughs> just hit his head. Mm -hmm. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. Ah, technically they're all dead. They're just undead. Yep. Why aren't there any mimics in this game too? There are. On right. Bitter Black Isle there are. Oh, okay. They're not really mimics. They're called, um... <clears throat> what the fuck are they called? Trandoshans? <laughs> no. They're called, uh... I can't remember the name. They're like worms. They're like giant worms that come out of the, the chest and then they eat you. They fuck you up. <laughs> like, they're like exceedingly strong. But I guess that would make sense for a mimic. And the Dungeons and Dragons mimics really aren't that powerful. I mean, they're a level 4 monster. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, most people nowadays probably think of the Dark Souls mimics, which are strong. Yeah. They're difficult to fight against when you don't know that they're there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, these these enemies are fucking shitty. The hellhounds. No. They suck. Because <laughs> no, in like regular game, like, oh man, they're fucking bad. Because <laughs> they shoot fireballs at you and it's like, they're like heavy hitting fireballs. Like They're not like little weak yeah. things. Like they're fucking big ass exploding fireballs. And then I see that they, you know, jump around Yeah, a they lot. jump around a lot, they evade you. Yeah, see, like, look at that fireball. Yeah. shot. <laughs> and they're pretty strong. Like, I'm making quick work of them, but normally they're pretty... Yeah. I mean... ...about to kill. Yeah, they, uh... Oh! <laughs> right see? Like, look at that! 
It's so and, tiny too. Yeah, and then you get caught up like they keep stunning you or they keep fucking hitting you over and over again. <laughs> oh! See, even now I'm getting fucked up, but it's probably just because I'm getting careless. You, you get over here. Ooh, he almost died. Yeah. Oh, he died. Oh. <laughs> and they stand in my Healy sigil and get some heals going. Probably use some items too. You can get actually some strong mimics in D and D. They're like rare ones. Uh -huh. Like there's a level ten one that is pretending to be a dragon's horde. Ooh! <clears throat> so it's just a huge, huge mimic. pile of shit. Yeah, it's just a huge pile of gold and other things, and then it's just like, yep, I'm not a mimic. And then you go and stand on the pile and you open up a chest, and then here comes its tongue. <laughs> Oh, this one might be one of the bummer fucking chambers that I enter. There's no boss here, I don't think. Just a bunch but, of gobbles. Yeah, like higher level goblins, yeah. Oh, I forget I got this shit. I don't know why I'm not using any of this. English. What the fuck is demon? So I think that's a uh, sh I think that's a uh, yeah. Okay. Kind of the um. Is that the same as? Oh no, I think I remember what it is. I don't. Eh, I don't know. It's been a little while. Some of the um abilities for this class are kind of. It kind of well, it kind of like. It kind of focuses a lot on like using the shield for shit, but I like, just want to attack everything. Because <laughs> it's not like you have the shield in one hand and then the other, like you know. Yeah, it's, it's more not, for it's more you're for not casting. doing this. You're yeah, just going it's more that. for uh -huh. casting magic. All right, how much? How many do I have here? <laughs> Nineteen. I need one more. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, so you actually did need some. Yeah, I, I said I gave myself 15, and I only oh, got yes, 5. Oh, yes, that's right, because you yeah. pulled out the ones you needed. But you yeah, I yeah, I just pulled out the ones that I needed. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to put on the Immortal's Helm just so I can regenerate some health a little bit quicker. Come. As you come. As you come. Was that other way blocked? I want you yeah. to come. Okay. Let's go back. We gotta go to another chamber. I'm sure in this next one I will get another wake stone, and then we can complete the game. Because and then if we ever wanted to go back and do Bitter Black Isle, we could. That's where, to me, the more interesting monsters and things happen. That one's pretty much entirely dungeon line. I know I've shown you it before. We played it for a little while. Yeah. Before. I vaguely remember it. Yeah, it was when I was fighting like the dragons and the lich thing oh, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he summoned a tornado or whatever. A lightning tornado. Apprehension. Is this a Hydra? Apprehension. No breathing. Oh. Just a couple oh, of a couple, goblins. A couple of cockatrices. That's like arguably worse. I would rather have had a Hydra. Because the cockatrices are fucking flying. Well, that's one part of it, but they can um, turn your you and your party into stone and then you need to give them secret softener which sometimes I just don't bother to use. Oh, and also they can silence my spells, so we just did that. So, right now I'm being turned to stone. And so is healer bot. <laughs> that's the thing I hate. Don't forget to heal I can use a lot of my items here for this part of the game because, like the the ending part, we like literally don't need any healing items or anything. Yeah. It's like you'll see, like the end, like the ending boss. It's not even a boss. It's fucking like ridiculous. Though they change it up, they do change it up actually on repeat playthroughs. I will say that much. Oh, hold on. I need some need a little tuckered. Let's do harvest milk. Yeah. Ooh. Ow! You hit me, you able. Get off of me, motherfucker. 
God. Why am I getting so fucked up with this part? Oh, there's little evil eyes too. That's stupid. Watch out for the goo! They call me the goo man, true. Okay, I was gonna say. I got hit with the petrification again. I was gonna be pissed. Why am I getting hurt so much? <laughs> Maybe because this is like uh, New Game Plus again? Yeah, so it's the next level up. Yeah, maybe. Get my whistle. Oh, no, no, no. He's spitting some shit, so I don't want to get hit by that. Spitting straight fire? Yeah. No, he's spitting his, like, stink cloud shit. I'll do my abyssal anguish on my sword. I don't fuck with There's one chamber in this that's really bad. There's two chimeras and like a lich or something. And like the chimeras just will not leave you the fuck alone to hit the lich. Which is the fucking problem. Yeah. So like that one, like it's like a, a regular chimera and then a gore chimera. Regular chimera you can kill in like a couple hits. Like at this point in the game. Like it's really easy. But then like the... Oh, I got cockatrice sticker too. Sick. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... But then the, yeah, but trying to, like, defeat the Lich with, like, the Gore Chimera is, like, completely, like, gogging you the whole time. It just it's makes it so, a real pain. Oh, my God, it's horrible. It's one of my, like, my least favorite, uh, like, one of the most annoying chambers in this area of the game. Yeah.